Hey guys, it's Max from Apple Insider, and in this series of videos, we put our $5,000 iMac Pro against one of the most popular configurations of the Mac Pro to test how much of a performance difference you can expect if you decide to upgrade. In our last video, we looked at a variety of benchmarks and talked about specs. If you missed it, you can watch part one first by clicking in the card above or by using the link in the video description. In this video, I'll be comparing the two Macs in photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom, and we'll also talk about upgradability. Make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on the next few, where we'll be looking at video editing, 3D animation, and thermals. Testing out Adobe's Lightroom Classic, we imported 50 42 megapixel RAW images. On lower end machines like our 13 inch MacBook Pro, these high resolution RAW images can really be a drag. Both the Mac and the iMac Pro handled them in a reasonable time. With that said, the iMac Pro was nearly 60% faster. Next, we exported the 50 images to JPEG with standard sharpening for displays. The iMac Pro was about 35% faster. We then converted the 50 RAW images to DNG files. The iMac Pro was about 15% faster, taking 58 seconds to complete the task. To finish off, we generated one-to-one -one previews for all 50 images. The iMac Pro finished in about 57 seconds, just over 35% faster than the late 2013 Mac Pro. During standard photo editing, the iMac Pro did seem a little snappier, especially when zooming into a high-resolution image or applying noise reduction. With that said, it's not a big difference, and the iMac Pro still has a bit of UI lag that Lightroom is known for. We ran multiple tests in the latest release of Photoshop, with the most difficult being a 9-shot, 42-megapixel raw bracketed sequence for HDR. While the iMac Pro did open the high-resolution images almost 60 percent quicker, our cylindrical Mac Pro created the HDR image sequence 38 seconds faster. We're not sure why this is, but if you're constantly merging a lot of high megapixel raw images, this difference could be worth staying with your Mac Pro or choosing a higher end iMac Pro like the 10 core. We ran a series of less demanding filters and corrections and there was practically no real world difference. Applying noise reduction to a 42 megapixel raw image shot at 12,800 ISO, meaning it had a ton of noise, the iMac Pro came in almost 60% faster. If you don't edit a lot of images, these speed improvements may not mean a lot to you, but if you're working with very high resolution images, like the new 100 megapixel phase one, or you're a photographer that processes thousands of raw images, the speed improvements will be gladly accepted. Now on to upgradability. The iMac Pro features a fully sealed design, meaning you can't access the RAM slots or anything else. With that said, the only major component that isn't upgradable is the graphics card, which is mated to the motherboard. The Mac Pro does have graphics cards that are socketed, so in theory they could have been upgradable, but since Apple never released any upgrade options, it didn't really matter. The Mac Pro's metal casing comes off quite easily by first using the switch to unlock it and then simply lifting it off. This reveals the RAM slots and the SSD which could be easily upgradable. The CPU is also socketed but swapping it out requires a whole teardown of the machine, thus voiding the warranty. The same is true for the iMac Pro where you can upgrade the processor, RAM, and SSDs but you'll need to separate the glue display from the chassis. This will void your warranty if you do it yourself but you will be able to take your iMac Pro to Apple or a certified service center. They could take it apart, but upgrades offered by Apple are limited to RAM only. If you want to see our full review on the iMac Pro, you could do so by clicking the card above or by following the link in the video description. And make sure to subscribe to see part 3 and 4 of this series. If you're ready to pick up your own iMac Pro, we have a special offer that's available only for Apple Insider viewers. For a limited time only, save $500 on every iMac Pro at B&H Photo, from the standard model up to the top of the line 18 core systems. This is in addition to free shipping and no tax on orders shipped outside of New York and New Jersey, potentially saving shoppers up to $1,555 compared to buying direct. To secure the bonus savings, simply email us at priceguides at gmail.com and mention this YouTube iMac Pro deal. We'll send over a time-sensitive, one-time-use coupon code to activate the $500 discount. Details can be found below and at appleinsider.com. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.